What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Build Videos. Hopefully you guys are having a great day and today we are going to be building a Super Sane out of three particular mods. This build is actually fairly new, most of the mods have come on to the platter this week so we're going to be checking them out and uh, constructing a Super Sane. Now this build is going to be relied off of three different elements or three different mods. One is going to be the outfit which is going to be enchanted for you. Number two itself is going to be hand to hand skills which we're going to be incorporating into this build we've already done a mod showcase on that particular one go and check that out it's absolutely awesome that will help with the amount of damage that we will be pumping out with our fists and last but not least is going to be the super kame ame ah which is going to be the super spell which we're going to be using to finish off the opponents or any sort of strong particular opponents that we come by aka trolls giants and dragons so let's jump straight into the video the first mod you are going to need to grab is going to be the goku wig and outfit this is fairly new i believe this was just come onto the page on february the 13th 2017 obviously if you want any of these mods that i list in the video for the build guys they will be down in the description below and basically what this one allows you to do is create the wig and the outfit from the tanning rack of any particular location that you please create the wig and the helmet you switch between the two and uh, i'm gonna look at the properties with you guys now so as you can tell here by the goku's wig you have got a lot of additional spells the additional spell cost of 15 is less percent of that country skills cost 15 percent less as well destruction resurrection illusion all have a 15 percent less magica to cast magica regeneration is 200 percent faster as well and increases your max magica by 150 points as well which is going to come really really handy with that spell as well now we've got goku's outfit which is the destruction spells cost 75% less to cast. Unarmed strikes do 100% additional damage. Again, both are going to work brilliant with the other two mods in conjunction. One is going to work great with the spell and the other one is going to work great with the hand-to-hand -hand skill. As an additional note as well, guys, you are going to need to make Goku's outfit and then the one underneath it. You're going to need to equip the Goku's outfit first and then the one underneath it, this one, to obviously get the appearance of Goku's outfit. So once you have got the wig and outfit ready to go, the next step we are going to need to take is to grab the book for the spell of the Super Saiyan. So what we're going to do is come over here, we're in white one, we're going to take the first exit on the right. We're going to follow up, going to go past one crazy old lady and one small house. Obstacle this rock and it should be this smaller house here and it should be located on the table within this house. Once you pick the book up, all you're going to need to do now is learn it. After you've done that, you have learned the spell to do with that. So on to the next step I'm going to show you is the hand-to-hand -hand combat part. So once you have learned the spells and you have the equipment for the Goku, then the next thing you're going to need to do is go over to the hand-to-hand -hand skill mod, install that, and once you've done that, you need to find this location, which is the dojo, right next to the Guardian Stones, and also at the back south of Ritherwood. So head over there and I'll show you what the next steps are. Once you've found the location which is buried within the hills then you will be displayed with a giant billboard outside saying martial arts supply store, the dojo itself. So once you've found it you're going to need to enter it, speak to Sensei and buy the items. Once you have spoken to Sensei and you've picked out your fists that you want to purchase. I've chosen ebony fists here just because they were the highest damage. I've actually upgraded these as well through the workbench. The damage on them is absolutely insane. It's 530. Now as many different types of fists that you can choose all the way from sort of crappy stuff so like steel all the way up to daedric. They're quite hard to find. You can obviously buy them for a fair penny and also once you've done that you can actually take them to any grindstone and upgrade them that way. The reason why I've added these into the build itself just because they actually come up invisible so if we draw a fist now as you can tell there is nothing there. They are equipped. As you can tell the speed that I'm hitting as well all is due to the amount of perks I've put into the tree. Again if you want to go and see a full mod showcase review on that particular mod then go on the channel and check it out but for the demonstration of this video if you want to go into your light armor perk tree all the hand-to-hand -hand skills will be located in there so that's pretty much the end of the build guys hopefully you did enjoy if you did obviously let me know in the comment section below i am obviously going to be carrying this on forward again it's all due to feedback if you guys want to see some mods like this a collaboration of mods put together for a build within Skyrim Special Edition. Now let me know in the comment section below. You guys determine whether we carry on this series. But I thought I'd construct this one together. Just because I really did enjoy it. But guys until the next build. Get a Kevin. And get a give out.